Hey guys and welcome back to another Twisted Vlog. I hope you guys are having a fantastic week so far. You might have noticed that today I'm not wearing my glasses. I'm going to a 3D movie later with my husband, so I put on my contacts because putting 3D glasses over top of regular glasses, anybody else who wears strong prescription glasses will know exactly what I'm talking about. It's just a pain in the ass. I'm not gonna lie guys, it's been a pretty long two weeks for me. I have been doing crazy overtime, no days off. This is my first day off in about 14 days, so I probably look very tired. If I open my eyes really wide, I will evolve into a higher state of consciousness. I didn't get the chance to go out and see any new movies this week, though I have a list of to watch movies that I'm going to be getting through now that I've actually got the time. So for this week's vlog, I thought I would go through my stack of older comic books that I've read, and I'm going to recommend to you some of my favorites that I've collected so far. I've picked three comic series out of my collection, and the first of them that I'm going to show you is a series called Colder. Colder is a comic series following the life and times of De Delkin Thomas. Declan. Declan Thomas. I can read. I swear I can. He is a patient at a mental institution with an unusually low body temperature. What the doctors at the psychiatric hospital don't realize is that Declan is the victim of a insanity demon, basically, named Nimble Jack. Nimble Jack is this character who feeds off of insanity, causes insanity, and just basically causes general mayhem wherever he goes. One day, Nimble Jack comes across Declan and actually makes him go insane and then proceeds to lower his body temperature so that his aging process pretty much stops. So Declan has stayed the same age for probably decades at this point and then Nimble Jack's just been slowly feeding off him over the years. At some point Declan will eventually reach like absolute zero body temperature and at that point presumably he's going to die. Being cursed by Nimble Jack does come with some benefits. He is able to step into the madness of other people and occasionally cure it. This comic book has a fantastic looking art style. It's very surreal and twisted in how it's done. Uh, the insanity scenes look amazing. They're just something out of, it's all nightmare fuel basically. Like the minute he touches people and he go, he steps into like whatever the heck is in their brain that Nimble Jack is making them see. It's all really well done. I really enjoyed the art style of this series in particular. Oh, there we go. There's another really good one there. I realized too that this comic series reminds me a lot of Spread, or Spread reminds me a lot of this comic series. It's got those massive shape-shifting amalgamous monsters. So yeah, if you like psychological horror, Colder is one to pick up. This has a couple trades at this point. There's Colder and then there's Bad Seed. So there's a bit here to read if you decide to pick it up. This is definitely one I recommend to people. I've been reading this for a while. So uh, yeah, Colder. Go pick this up at your local comic book store. This next comic series I'm going to recommend, I will start with a disclaimer. It is not for the faint of heart. It is very off the walls, overly graphic and violent. Like think of the most awful graphic violence you can think of and you'll probably find it in this comic book. It's called Crossed. This comic started off as a web series before it was eventually picked up and published. This is about a world in which some type of infection has been spreading throughout the human race. It is characterized by the cross-shaped rash that appears on people's faces and it basically causes people to become homicidal maniacs. They lose all inhibitions, all their filters are gone. The most evil things that pop into their mind, they just do. No rhyme or reason, they just do. They will kill, they will rape, they will murder, they go full ham. This is like off the walls, crazy insanity, post-apocalyptic. Zombies, if they were on steroids and were still smart enough to drive and wield guns and set traps, like way scarier than zombies, guys. Like this is way worse. If you become crossed and you start getting this rash, you do retain quite a bit of your formal intelligence and you still retain a lot of your formal skills 
skills, which makes these infected way more dangerous than any zombie. I read at some point in this book that what the government ended up having to do was gathering up all of the nuclear scientists and anybody who had access to nuclear weapons, nuclear power plants. They gathered them together, had them dismantle all of the power plants and the weapons, and then executed them all. Because they couldn't risk if those people eventually became infected and then went and got all of these things working again and then blew everything to hell. They feel no pain, they feel no remorse, they will kill you. And in fact, they will probably do things that will make you wish you were dead before they actually get around to killing you. If this was a movie, I would rate this a very hard R. So again, I'm recommending this, but it is not for the faint of heart. If you do not like graphic, graphic violence, do not read this. If that's your bag, then by all means pick this up. And lastly, for anybody who is a fan of slasher films, I have a comic series here that is a love letter to all of our favorite slasher films of the like 70s, 80s era. It's called Hack Slash. I've got the omnibus here. There's, I think, five omnibus that you can pick up. Hack Slash follows Cassie Hack and her partner in crime, Vlad. They are two hunters of slasher villains. They travel around the country and they track down and eliminate what they call slashers, who are basically supernatural monsters who prey mainly on teenagers. So you can kind of see where this is going. Basically, anybody like Freddy, Jason, I think that Chucky actually makes a cameo appearance and a special issue of this in one of these books. I've got to find it again, but it's hilarious. Slashers are normally criminals or serial Real killers that have come back from the grave in some supernatural form and begin preying on people. The reason why Cassie Hack goes after these slashers is that her mother was actually a slasher known as the lunch lady. In life she would kill high school students who picked on her daughter and then when she died she came back and she continued to prey on teenagers who had picked on Cassie. So that is how Cassie got started hunting slashers. It's got all the basic horror tropes, the teenagers, pretty women going to cabins and isolated areas, getting murdered, blah blah blah. It's very self-aware and it has a very dark sense of humor. If you are a huge fan of old slasher films like I am, definitely pick this up and give it a read. That's all I've got for now guys. I'll dig through more of my comic book collection and see if I can't find more stuff to recommend to you. Listen to me talking about it like I don't have a billion other comic book series that I could possibly show you. In the meantime, remember, click those links in the description below to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and hit that subscribe button so you can stay in the loop for when I post my Let's Plays and other vlogs. I'll see you guys next time for more horror, comics, movies, and basically everything else. <laughs> see you guys.